We are breaking news tonight on the massive search operation to find that submersible with five people on board that went missing Sunday on a trip to view the wreckage of the Titanic. There is a new development in the past hour. Crews searching for the sub reportedly heard today banging sounds at 30 minute intervals. Then after additional sonar devices were deployed, banging was still heard. Okay, this is according to an internal U.S. government memo. It was unclear exactly what time this banging was heard. A subsequent update sent tonight suggested more sounds were heard, though they were not described as banging. I want to bring in deep sea explorer and oceanographer David Gallo. David, thank you very much for being here. What does this development tell you? Well, it's immediately the first thing is it uh, gets your hopes uh, go skyrocketing up, but also it makes you think that, wow, you know, time is really now against us. So it really encourages you to do something, but do it quickly. Uh, be, because, uh, you know, anyway, there, you have to be, there's a little bit of caution here because if you remember Malaysian Air, uh, there were all sorts of bangs and beeps and pops heard uh, that were positively this or that and turned out to be none of those things. Uh, I'm not taking away from this, but you know, it gets the hopes of the families and loved ones up. Uh, and it does cause an, an upbeat in, in terms of let's get this uh, show underway. Um, so I'm, I'm looking at it as a very positive sign. And now the next question is how, how do we find out and uh, how do we investigate right away? Yeah. About what and David, sounds, maybe? What, about, what about the every 30 minute interval? What does that tell you? I don't know. You know, I'm thinking PH, my my dear, my closest friend and uh, colleague is out there on that sub. And uh, he knows what he's doing. And maybe he figured that that's the best way to have them recognize where they are is to 